Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I'm doing the uh, last and final part, the third part to uh, beefing up your drums, making them sound a little bit more produced, a little bit more polished. Uh, we left off with finishing up the kicks and the snares. Let's take a look at those right now. Uh, just uh, as a refresher, the kicks are both being routed to the kick group and all the snares that we created in the previous uh, video are now routed to the snare group and we got uh, a little compression on them and we've pretty much have everything balanced off um, and now we're ready to kind of add a little bit of detail some tweaks uh, just to kind of fill out our eight bars so uh, we have the two bars here uh, and this is pretty easy uh, no hard and fast rules here but you want to just um, sprinkle uh, a little bit of a dynamic throughout the thing so uh, here's what I kind of do every once in a while um, these are some of the standard tricks I use. Um, so here we have a two bar and it's you know we'll, we'll, we'll copy it out and we'll make it a four bar okay so let's just do that okay so I'm making it a four bar and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the kick the last kick here and and maybe just double it up right here right so now if we loop a four bar um, Boy, my cat's really going crazy back there. Now that we loop a four bar, let's see what happens. All right, so it's just a little fill. It's probably a little a little too dominant, but um, you know, we I'm gonna turn the volumes down on them just a little bit. Let's see what that sounds like with the volumes down on 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 this little. So real minor, real minor, but you could tell there is a, a volume difference and it creates dynamics. It creates this little up and down thing. So not everything is getting hammered away at uh, the same level. All right, so we have that. Um, before we make this the eight bar, uh, there's another thing I kind of like to do. Um, what, one of the things I like to do is, see this uh, main snare, remember this was my primary snare, snare one. Um, just for a little something different, I'm going to go ahead and copy it, and then I'm going to reverse it so it sweeps back the other way. Um, so, new version, boom. So my snare's reversed. Let's get a little closer just to kind of see what I'm going to do here. Uh, you could do this with kicks as well, and I think we, we may want to do it with kicks here as well just for de uh, demonstration purposes. I'm basically just putting uh, putting everything in just so you get an idea of what, what you can do. So you see what I'm doing? I've reversed the snare and I'm just going to have it sweep back into that fourth snare. So it'll sound something like this. You heard that, right? It sweeps in. So it's a little, it's a little muddy. And so I'm going to shorten it up a little bit tuck it back in there and just kind of make it a little neater so it's, it's a quicker sweep it's a little too grimy right now so we're just gonna polish it you, you hear that right it just quickly sweeps in let's listen again I'm gonna bring that fade a little bit more now it's not as pronounced gonna open it up okay hang on a second you hear that right now it's real subtle And here, here, what you can do here is, um, we could potentially take this reverse snare and just simply drag it over, duplicate it, and drag it over at the end of four, right? Or at the end of the two bar loop. Let's listen to that. Here it is. All right, so you see, you see slowly what's happening here, right? I've, I've done very little so far, and there's already changes, and this is just the four bar, okay? So that sounds okay. Let's, let's go ahead and turn this into an eight bar loop, okay? So I'm just gonna duplicate this four bar section, okay? And I'm gonna increase the four bar to an eight bar, okay? So now all these changes that I just did in the four bar are the same in the eight bar so I'm gonna have to create a couple more variations just to make so you know to make it different oh 
Okay, so the the turnaround, uh, and in case you don't know what a turnaround is, it's at the end of eight bars, there's that little fill. There's a turnaround here at four, a little bit of a fill, and here's the same fill at the end of eight bars. We probably don't want to use the exact same turnaround. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to delete that kick, and I'm going to do a turnaround maybe with, with the snares instead. So I'll grab this set of snares, and maybe I'll put them on a 16th note here, just to hear how that sounds. Alright, so it's a little fill. Uh, it doesn't sound that great. Maybe, maybe I can borrow this reverse snare and, again, use it. You see, I don't have a, uh, a certain way I do it all the time. I just use some of these tricks, and I, I, I try things out, and I, I see what kind of captivates me at the time, and I, I go with it, all right? So there's no hard and fast rules here. It's a little sloppy. Um, I'll take it off, and I'll just leave the snares. And you know what? I'll turn the snares down as well, that last that last set of snares. I'm going to turn those down just to create a little more dynamics. Okay, not bad. That was pretty good. Um, and here's, so um, we've made another variation here and I think we could even go a little further. Uh, and the way, just like we use the reverse with the, with the snares right here, right? Just like we reverse the snares, uh, I'm going to do something similar with the kicks except with the kicks I'm only gonna have I'm gonna have it spaced out twice as much so I'll do it here let me duplicate a kick here I'm gonna duplicate this kick right then I'm gonna reverse it okay where's my reverse I'm gonna reverse it then of course we have to go and edit that reversed slice because we know it's it's not gonna be sitting right until we kind of fix it okay so it's got a pretty much end where the reverse kick has to end where the new kick starts here it is I'm gonna fade that in a little bit I'm gonna turn it down just want a very subtle just a very subtle sweep in let's hear it real quick you hear that right that maybe is a bit too much I'm gonna tuck it back some more and I'm probably going to turn it down a lot more. I don't want it too pronounced because we don't want to mess with the kicks too much. We just want to create a sense of uh, something slightly different. I'm going to shorten it up even more. We're getting there though. Real subtle. That might be okay, but even then that might be a bit much. We'll have to see as we play around with it. Anyway, so I have it here on the three, okay? I'm not going to put it at the end of my four bar but I will put it uh, in the middle section of that, the second four bar, so it'll go here, okay? So now let's listen to the uh, entire eight bars and see what these little details have done. And notice how fast this, this has gone. This is, you know, a couple minutes and we've already done quite a bit in terms of making the beat sound a little bit more exciting, a little bit more dynamic. Pretty cool, right? Not too bad. That fill at the end, um, you know, perhaps we could still do a little bit more with it, uh, or or maybe not. Maybe other elements in the track would later fill it out. Um, one more cool thing I want to show you guys before we wrap this up. Uh, if you want a really cool and interesting way of um, creating a swing in your beat without actually applying any like groove quantizing to it, um, this is how I go about it. I usually take the kicks and start messing with their lengths. So here, let me let me solo the kick so we can just hear the kick by itself. You notice they're the same kind of, you know, they're exactly the same. It's the same length, the same attack, everything's the same. So one of the things I like to do is I like to shorten up every other one. So you see what I did, right? I shortened the first one up just a little bit. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete the second one. 
or the third one, I'm sorry. The second one I'm going to leave right here. The second set I'm going to leave in their original, their uh, original sample. And then with this one, hang on, let me get the let me get the grid right on this. And then I'm going to take my short one, and I'm going to put it out here and see what that does. Probably not enough for you to tell yet. Let's do one more. Let's listen again. You see what it's doing now, right? It's you get that you get a lot of that swinging up, down, up, down. You know, it it changes it up, and it's real subtle. Again, now uh, here's another thing. I'm doing it every other time. You don't necessarily have to. You could actually do some really cool and interesting pa uh, patterns. Like watch this for example. Let's say I got rid of the second one that that is still in its original form if I got rid of it use my modified shorten kick and had three of them in a row and then on the fourth one I had a longer tail so now I'm totally switching up the groove where it's it's gonna be short 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 long short 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 long so you you know you could do all sorts of different patterns depending on what you're feeling that particular you know at that particular time or what you think the track needs so Actually, let's, let's hear that real quick, looped. Still pretty cool, right? Let me bring those snares in. You see what it's doing, right? Now, again, just for, just for uh, to show you the example, I'm going to go back to that previous short long short long let's see what that does so you see now how it kinda changes the swing uh, when we alternate as opposed to going three in a row and then the fourth one's different here we're going every other one is different totally creating a different swing you can do this on the snares as well uh, I'm not gonna mess with that right now but I'm just saying you could do that on the snares and this is a really nice technique to use for anything and everything percussion anything uh, you know like kick snares you could use this on uh, tablas or congas if you have an, a loop going you could shorten some of them up really create some interesting kind of like rhythmic groovy type of patterns okay so we'll just go ahead and leave it with short long short long for this okay now let me let me fill out the rest of the beat here now remember we did have that reverse this reverse kick we had. I don't want to mess that up, so I'm going to be real careful with that. I'll grab these first three, move them here. It looks like I can put this one right here, and it won't... Okay, so here it is, guys. All right, so there. I just neatly took care of my groove quantizing without actually applying some quantize to it and using the actual wave files, which I, I, I think sounds a lot more interesting anyway. So let, let's listen to this two-bar. Okay, right? And now what, what do I need to do? I need to go ahead and modify the rest of these kicks. Here's my fill. Remember at the end of four I had a fill. I don't want to mess that up. So I'm going to carefully just grab these. I hope you see what I'm doing here. This, this should be, this is, you know, pretty much audio wave editing here. Uh, looks like I have room for a long one here. I'm going to grab this, move it here. And I want to make sure that I still have my fill. Let's get a closer look. Make sure I don't mess up the fill. And sure enough, here's my fill right here. Let's let's listen to the four bar. Whoa, that, that got kind of goofy, right? I probably didn't put this in the right place. That probably goes here. I'll tuck it back, just so I can still hear my fill in there. There we go. See that? Okay. go all right and there there you go there's the four bar and now we need to clean up the eight uh, the rest of it so it doesn't look like anything's going to be different here so I'll just erase all these I'll grab this newly newly modified kick 
pattern we got here. Of course, I have to take off the ends here because we're not doing that little turnaround at the end of eight. We're just going to go ahead and leave it alone because our snare right here does a little fill. And actually, why don't we go ahead and take these spread out stereo snares and stack them. See All right, so that's pretty much that's pretty much it. I'm gonna just real quick uh, before we close this uh, this out, uh, I'd like to just maybe touch up the levels a little bit and. All right, I think that's pretty good. That's not too bad. Now you know you could put on some, you could put on some uh, hi hats on there, and this is just the kick and the snare. But as I was saying, the kick and the snare are really, really important. And it, unless unless you really spend some time on them and and get them to sound right, uh, you know the the production can sound a little thin or uh, a little kind of uh, amateurish. So. Uh, I hope you can use some of uh, some of these techniques that we've gone over. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post them uh, in the comment section below. Or if you'd like to share some of the way uh, some of the ways uh, you spice up your drums when you're producing your beats, uh, by all means, uh, I would love to you know kind of add on to my tricks. And I've shared my tricks with you, so I hope this can go both ways. Uh, in either case, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll catch you guys the next time. Thanks for watching.